Okay, so just a couple of quick minutes on the light box, why I did what I did, and just for any of you out there who are interested or thinking about building this project. It was a fun project. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was very different than the toolbox because the toolbox was very small and this is a little bit bigger, so you kind of got used to manipulating things that were a little bigger. Not as big as the wings, obviously. What's fun about this is you get to kind of choose your own path. So you have flush rivets, you have uh, universal rivets, you've got pop rivets or pull rivets and some screws and nut plates. And then you also have kind of a grommet where you have to ream that out using a reamer. And then I decided to prime the inside. Now I'm not priming the plane. I bought the plane with wings and tail cone and empennage already built. The builder decided not to prime. I did my research. We'll let that debate continue. I'll let you know in 40 or 50 years if I should have primed or not, but I'm not priming. Uh, but there are some parts that you have to prime using self-etching. So I primed the inside, but basically I did dimpled and flush rivets across the top uh, just to have a smooth top finish. I wanted to work on universal riveting. So um, this was fun because by doing universal rivets around the back and the sides, I had to pretty much do everything you can imagine from left-handed riveting to right-handed riveting to different bucking methods to cl uh, clamping because some of these, the rivets are spaced so far apart that even with Clicos and every other hole, that middle hole, I got some mushrooming or I don't know what you would call it, but basically where the rivet started to squeeze instead of squeezing the two pieces together it started squeezing in the middle, so I had to drill out a bunch of rivets and drilling out universal rivets is very different than drilling out flush rivets, but that's why we do this, to practice. And then I did pull rivets on the bottom, and again, the question becomes, should I have built the Sling TSI? Because pull rivets are awesome. They're fun, they're easy, you can set them all up ahead of time and you just go And I didn't have one rivet that failed on me, like they were perfect. So. Obviously, it's a lot easier. They're not quite as nice, but they're two different airplanes again, though I think that debate will continue forever. But, you know, overall, uh, I had fun building this project. I hope you have fun with it too, and you kind of get to, to choose your own path. The one thing I'm gonna do, so the reason I put the screws in front, the instructions actually call for the screws to be in the back. Of course, you can do whatever you want, and it calls for you to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not dimple, but why can't I think of it? Um, well, I'll put it up there in the text when I think of the word, but to set the angle, but actually drill that into the metal instead of dimpling it. But the reason I did screws up front is I wanna be able to remove this faceplate for two reasons. One, at some point I'm gonna go in there and grind these holes a little nicer. I went through them with the metal file to make sure that there's nothing sharp that's gonna cut me, but I don't love the way that they're finished. So I wanna get in there with a grinder and clean that up. Also, my neighbor has a laser etching machine that he uses for plexiglass and wood, and we know we can do aluminum on it. He just needs to know what settings. We're gonna test it, and then I'm gonna etch our Pilot Rhino logo, probably the Pilot Rhino logo up here, and then RV10 with a logo or with the uh, sketch of the RV10 on here. So I wanted the front to be able to be removed so we can take it across the street and get it laser etched. And I need to clean it up a little more. I don't have mineral spirits at home yet. I just have rubbing alcohol. So I think I need something a little stronger to clean that up. But overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. It was a fun project. And then the next project is going to be the actual practice kit where you basically build like uh, a control surface, a small version of a control surface. So that'll give me some more practice and some more practical experience. And I'm so glad I'm doing all this, learning about the riveting and learning about how to build all this and testing different methods and practicing with left hand or practicing with right hand or practicing squeezing and changing out the dimples and using all the different tools and clicos and just getting familiar with the process. Uh, I can't tell you how valuable that has been for me. You know, a week ago, I'd never bucked a rivet in my life. I've never used an air compressor tool or a pneumatic tool and now I feel almost like a pro. I mean, I've only been doing it for a week, but I feel really good about it. And I have a lot more confidence going into the big project. And I know that after I do that sample project next week, I'll feel even better. So thank you all for watching and I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.